Hello internet. Today we're going to be playing around with shaders. I uh, have this idea for a flat shader, kind of inspired by World of Goo, and we're going to see where it goes. Uh, so we've got an empty project in Unity, and we're going to build the shader, test it, make sure it works, and that should be it. So first thing first, let's create a material. Call it flat material. Yeah, that's good. Um, next, we're going to actually need our shader. I'm going to use a surface shader, mostly because it's faster. Um, we'll probably do another episode going from to a vertex and fragment shader, but for now, uh, let's stick to a surface shader, get the concept down, and then make it more complex later. So we'll call this our flat shader, sticking with simple names, easy to understand. Um, I'm going to open up Visual Studio so that we can work on editing this. And once that loads, eventually, come on, any second now, there, okay, so this is uh, Unity's default standard uh, surface shader, uh, there's a bunch of stuff here that we don't need, and we're probably going to be getting rid of most of it, so first things, we don't need metallic or glossiness, it's flat, so we can just delete those and remove them from the outputs of the shader. Uh, we are going to be looking at a texture and then we're going to be running that through and outputting something. So the concept is we want to take a gradient, um, look at it, figure out if it's above a threshold and if it is we want to draw that pixel and if it isn't we don't want to draw that pixel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a texture, uh, that's going to be this guy. And then I'm going to have another value coming into the shader, that's not there yet. And then based on that we're going to actually clip the pixels, um, and that's a shader keyword that we're going to be using. So the first steps, we can actually change this albedo, which I Unity is the only engine I know of that uses this word, but it's used to describe the visible light that's being given off by an object. Um, I think that it comes from astronomy, but anyway, and then I can delete that from the color there. Um, next thing, we need to pull in our uh, value. So this can be a range value. We've never used Unity shaders. A range is pretty much just a clamped float. So uh, we'll call it our cutoff. and then we'll give it a value from zero to one. Um, so this is just going to be where on the gradient we want to stop. So you can look at it however you want. Um, this, I guess one of the decisions we're going to have to make is do we want a white or one to be invisible when, or do we want that to be the high values? Do we want that to be what's shown first? Um, so that's going to be something we're going to have to design and come up with. I think we're probably going to have white be visible first, so it's going to be the per first pixel that's drawn when you try to draw this thing. It's going to be the last thing that's cut out. Uh, we'll give this a default of like 0.05, so like halfway through. And then this main texture, I'm actually going to just give it a different name here, so it shows up as like a mask. And I think that should be good. There's not, this shader isn't going to actually work yet, but we don't really need it to. Um, let's make sure everything compiles. It looks like it's good. Unity's going a little bit crazy. The heck? One sec. That was weird. Right. So what we need to do is we need to apply this uh, shader. I'm going to go into custom, flat shader, select that. And now we don't have this mask designed yet. Um, this is going to be really easy. We're going to open up uh, Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use anything else. Um, you just need something that can make a black and white image. So I'm using Photoshop. It's what I have. Um, Paint.net or even Paint. They're all free, so go for it. We're going to make a really quick thing just to prove this out. 
Oops. And I think that's all we're going to need. We don't need this to be precise yet. It doesn't really matter. This is mostly just to actually prove out how this thing is going. Uh, let me find the project quick. Okay, and then we can save this to our assets folder, like so. Uh, we'll just call it a flat mask. And so one of the cool things about this approach is, like I'm just using a basic circle gradient, but you can use anything, anything that can go from black to white. You can take any, any image you want, and theoretically you can apply this effect to it. At least that's the plan. We'll, we'll see if that works. So I'm going to stick that on there. It's not going to change anything, because um, if you look back at our shader, we're not actually using this color that we're getting for anything. We're just setting the basic color. And then the only thing we're actually using is drawing the alpha, but since it's an opaque shader, that isn't even used anyway. So it, this really doesn't do anything right now. But what we do want to do is we do want to find a way to cut this thing off. Um, this is actually really easy to do. I believe it's called the clip function. And so you take, you want to clip, we're going to use the red channel in the image. Um, this will give us, I mean, an image has R, G, B, and A. Uh, we're only using the red or R channel. So that leaves green, blue, and the alpha channels open for other uses, which I have plans for those, but those will be in different videos. So we're going to take that and we're going to subtract our cutoff. So what this is going to do is say you have white. If your cutoff is one, you're going to end up with zero there. And the way clip works is it's not going to render anything that is under zero. So if our value of red is 0.5 and our cutoff is one, then it's not going to render that value because it's going to be negative 0.5. So that's what we're doing. And then if it's not clipped, we're just going to draw the color. Simple enough. Uh, let's throw in a really simple quad and throw our new material on there. Zoom in, make it nice and big. And then we'll expand this a bit. And we should be able to clip things. At least that was the plan. Or not. Well, and I broke it. Cool. Right. I'm an idiot. Okay, so what we need what we need to do, uh, something I've totally missed, is we need to actually add this and have it as a value in our shader. That's kind of important. Um, these properties are only so they they're exposed in Unity. They aren't actually exposed in the shader until you declare them down here. So you'll see we still have metallic and glossiness. So I can pull those out for good this time. Um, and we want to keep our cutoff, our color, and then our main texture. And we have some custom inputs that are being generated by Unity. Those are part of one of some of the fancy stuff that the surface shader is going to do. This is going to figure out these UV coordinates and pass them in for you. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, so now that we've got our cutoff being passed in, we can actually run this and it should work. Yep. Okay, so now we can, we've got this fun clipping flat shader and we should be able to color it too. So we can make it whatever color we want, and then we can apply any image we want as well. So that's a basic flat shader, I guess. Um, not much to it. 
And then if we want to actually make this a little bit more interesting, we can create a new, well, let's use the same, same image. I'll just stick some stuff on top of this. But if we want to have some real fun with this, we can make this black and then take a brush, let's grab a white one and just do some fun design like this. And then we should be able to throw a glow on there and kind of even out the stuff so it looks a little bit, oops. Well, first, you don't want to draw on the layer your background is. That's important. Or not, okay. Let's try that again. Uh, we're going to take black, throw that there, create a new layer, that's important, and then go crazy with the paintbrush, like so. So now if we do that, and open up the image filters, we can do an outer glow, make it white. That looks interesting. Uh, let's do that and make it huge. Yeah, that looks good. So something like this. Now if we take this and save it to our flat mask and then open it up in Unity, we get this really fancy little blob thing. And so this lets us kind of come up with any image we want and we can kind of change how it looks actually just by adjusting this cutoff point. So there's our flat shader. Really straightforward but next I think what we want to do is we want to add like outlines um, and maybe animate this somehow um, and I've got plans for that but we'll look into that in the next video. So thanks for watching. I hope this was informative, interesting, I don't know. Let me know. Uh, and I'll hopefully do more in the future. So thanks for watching.